this. Oh, well yeah. done, Jack. <laughs> and Alex, you have to say, in his prime, there was nobody better at holding that length but than Jack. to your eye, but save the way for Jack. He's got 168 yards left to the pin. Six iron shot. Well played. That so must be very difficult to control your emotions with 18 major wins. And into the third green for Jack. It's under 400 yards, this par four third. Well, that's a Good shot there, just a, a few yards young, short. Familiar crouched position for Jack. Bang. <laughs> now his fancy blue pullover's come off, and a lightweight red one has taken its place. Fifth hole, 568 yards, par five. Slightly into the breeze, still within range from many of these players in two shots. He's hitting it very well uh, from the tee. As it bounds on up the fairway. Let it sweep away. Now, you wanted to sweep away from behind that ridge, and that's fine. Now, Jack Nicholas at this par five. Drift in, go on. You could compare that posture with photographs over the years, it's hardly changed. Crosswind shot this one. Totally different hole this today where the pin is. The pin is 41 paces on and just 12 from the left. Yesterday it was on the far right. Now just check, stay there. That's a pretty good shot. The tenth hole. Ranges 380 yards. Just to pitch into the green. And we're all hoping for a few birdies for Jack. Look at this. 
Yeah, that's better, Jack. Well, he's gone close a number of times with these putts, and hopefully this is the one that will get him one back because he's not too far away from playing at the weekend. Now Jack Nicholas for his birdie. You have to say in his prime, there was nobody better at holding that length putt than Jack. And he had the will and the concentration in holding magnificently. But what a reception! Try and turn it up into the breeze ever so slightly to hold it online. So beautiful shot from Jack and I, I just got the feeling Alex looking at him there on the tee when we focused on his face for a while he knows what a scary shot it is too but he's looking younger to me than he did on the practice tee on Wednesday I think he's thriving on the competition I think he is thriving I think he's enjoying every minute he has a putt to take him to two under par today you can see what it means to him to get right. That swung and turned an awful lot more than uh, I imagined it would, Dennis. Mm, I knew it was going to move a bit, but uh, you know, the wind's right across me as well. That it which helps get the ball going, doesn't it? Driver for Jack. Trying to send it down the right-hand side. Hit the ball solidly uh, right from the very first, <laughs> yes, from the first tee, scraping past the bunkers and to a nice slight uphill lie, which is an advantage. Jack, four iron to 15. Has he got something special for us? Come on, bound up. Ah, oh, good shot. Right on line. Not enough oomph, shall I say. Jack. He looks as though he's got himself a three iron. Is he going to get in on the right hand side? Or is he going to pop this out to the left? Looks like he's going down the right, Alex. I think he's going to go right to the bunker. Get the best line in. He knows he needs birdies. He did that in 78 against Simon Owen, didn't he? Bamboozled the New Zealander. Yes, he did indeed. I remember it very well. And uh, so essential that he gets a chance for a birdie. 16 paces on the pin, but only eight from the right. That's the teasing part of this green, cruel position. Very difficult to get the ball close. A great shot, but it will be swept a wee bit to the left. But that's one of the best shots we've seen all day. You're absolutely right. He took the right hand lane in 1978. He won the championship here. Very still, and this for a three. Get 
Almost the same line uh, as McDonald. Par four, and the cheering starts again. He's uh, even par today. He's three over for the championship. The cut is probably going to come with as little as one over. It could be around about level one over. He's still got to consider that he has a chance. He needs a couple of birdies. He's aiming right as well, but he's done that today to get a little bit more turn to go with his age. Shot. As they were in 77 at Turnbury, Watson and Nicholas side by side. For the final time, his approach to the road hole. What do you got first, Jack? Please turn back the clock. Up Is it up? Speed. I think he's Go got a little up shooter. And he has, and it's come up short. Stuck it up in the air. Now what I tried A competitor to the end. Well, very difficult to get this close. Look at the crowds in the stand. within six foot of this hole would be absolutely fantastic. Come on, go. Up you go. Not bad at all. A little rueful smile. It's a five, but really that doesn't matter anymore. Final tee shot in his final open, his 38th <laughs> final open. Go on, make it a good one. Right down the middle, as he's done so many times before. The silence falls. Wilkin Bridge. Surely he will. He'll stop just as Arnold Palmer did ten years ago and turn and wave his goodbyes to the crowd that I think he holds in particularly a particularly special place in his heart. The Scottish fans and the, the fans here at St Andrews mean so much to the Golden Bear. The final walk down the final hole. Is he waiting for his son? He may well be. He may want Steve to take the, the bow with him. The photographers wait for their shot, and here it is. This is the photograph we will see in every newspaper and every magazine. Arena 
to do it. I suppose there's a lot of places that have meant a lot to Jack throughout his career, his own beloved Muirfield Village in Ohio, of course, but for his final major, and maybe his last competitive performance. That's a slightly grey area, whether he'll play competitive golf again. We'll certainly not see him play another major. He wanted to say his goodbyes here at the home of golf, and his fellow competitors lining up to lead the applause. Brad Faxon. Tom Penice standing behind the 18th green, just to name a few. This whole town, the South African David Frost, all here to pay the ultimate compliment. I don't think I've ever had innovation like that on a, on a golf course before. Tom Watson and Luke Donald holding back and letting an emotional Nicholas take his final walk. So once again, the silence falls for through the Valley of Sin one final time. Come on, Jack, get it right. Down it goes, and up. I think he could have knocked out 40 feet past and would have got a roar of applause, but he's actually played a pretty good shot there. He'll give himself a chance of a, of a final birdie. So come on, the final shot. Let, let's, let's make this the final stroke in Jack Nicklaus's open career. Hold the putt for us, Jack. And listen to the roar if he does. Yes, yes Jack! Thank you ever so much. The perfect ending to a remarkable career. And a hug between father and son. And everyone gets a little bit emotional at these moments, but uh, we really have seen something special today. Jack finishes with a birdie, and his open career is finally over. What a day, what a moment. Well, he's shaken a few hands this week, he'll shake a few more, he's signed a million autographs. There's now a Scottish banknote which carries his image, and that's been the most sought-after item at St Andrews this week. And Tom Watson also with a tear in the eye.